Hey your family welcome back to another podcast another very informative video i was getting a lot of queries specifically from indian medical aspirants they are seeking medicine in serbia so today we have a very special guest we have professor marco over here he is handling the admission process and he is currently the in charge of administration department of medicine in university of nes so it's a very informative video i have accumulated all the basic informative questions not just any kind of questions the basic question that a proper aspirant should ask a university and uh, what this university is offering them the future aspects as well or opportunities after completing all the thing we are going to cover in this very informative podcast so just sit and watch this video carefully it can help you in deciding to choose this curriculum to choose this path and ultimately to settle yourself for a better degree to get a better future ahead of you so just sit and watch this video Hey everyone, welcome back to our another informative podcast and today we have with us uh, a very reputed person. He is in charge of admission in the University of Nes. He's Professor Marco and uh, he today will guide us with all the stuff, all the questions you were asking me and uh, I know everything about you sir. I have already got informed and I, we already had a word before but I would like you to enlighten our students and tell something about yourself so they can have a clear picture whom we are working with today okay it's nice to see you and i'm really glad that i am in your podcast right now today yes. especially because i'm in india these days and uh, i'm here and visiting a lot of places and and uh, mm-hmm. i'm really happy that i am here and to see a lot of and meet a lot of new people and a lot of new very very kind people uh, so uh, first of all i would like to introduce myself i am professor marko jovic i am from faculty of medicine university of nish and uh, i i i'm the professor on subject uh, histology and embryology also uh, i'm one of person who are working with admission for the students at faculty of medicine university of nish I think this is like in short. Yeah, I, uh, that's uh, that's great. Uh, Thanks a lot, sir. So first of all, uh, we'll not directly go into questions. I would like to ask, like, how it's, uh, how is the experience in India? Like the cultural exchange and everything, the food. Are uh, you enjoying it? And what's so different India. from Serbia? <laughs> Oh, it's a lot of different Serbia. So uh, I really enjoy the country. I really enjoy the country a, a lot. Uh, I'm here for four days till now. Uh, um, it's like all are different and oral really, really nice. Uh, for me, it's a really nice country. And uh, what can I say that uh, people here are really kind. I cannot believe this kindness. Really nice, really kind. And they, um, they respect all other people very, very much. I really like it. Uh, also, the food. the really huge amounts of fuel of food yeah, exactly. from the very morning till the very evening so all the day uh, we are eat really a lot it's really nice food spicy but very nice also you i have i i have to tell you that this the indian sweets are perfect i'm glad uh, you liking the stuff and i'm glad you're handling spice as well because i've been with many uh, people across the globe we have been traveling and it's very hard for people to handle spice in india and uh, <laughs> it's quite shocking that you're able to handle it so uh, let's come back to the topics uh, i have sets of questions that i've received from our students from our medical aspirants because you're already aware India is a country okay. where students are very much interested for medicine they admire this subject a lot they want to be a part of this curriculum and be a great doctor as it's a part of respect in our society because whenever we see a person with a doctor in front of the name we always like bow down and respect the person and say yeah he has some he has achieved something in life and he's trying to save someone so uh, we have set of questions <clears throat> like uh, right now our students they are seeking medicine i wanted to ask like uh, how university of nis is different and how it's uh, giving the opportunity what kind of stuff they're offering the faculty and everything that can help students to build a career and build a perfect platform so can they can be a perfect doctor later on okay yes thank you for the question yeah so what can i say the university of nis Uh, I've been placed in Niš. This is actually the south of Serbia, and we are the biggest city in uh, south of Serbia. Uh, so uh, a lot of population uh, go to Niš for you know for um, taking care about the medicine, about everything. Uh, 
uh, first of all, what I can say that when uh, students apply for faculty of medicine, University of Niche, they start for a beginning on uh, English language, and we are you know, like full six year on English language, like 100% English language. Uh, we have a lot of uh, foreign students as well. Uh, we have uh, Serbian students. So per year, uh, faculty of medicine, University of Niche um, make uh, 100 uh, and 80 application for uh, Serbian students and six application for foreign students. So yeah. it's for first year, for every other year, we have more than 100 students. Uh, what is very important that our students from the beginning, have, they have uh, one mentor so working with them uh, all, all the time. And uh, they have, um, we are, uh, how to say, uh, a little bit push our students to study from very beginning, uh, not to lose the time for, you know, make a, to accommodate themselves in Serbia, because Serbia is really kind country, a really um, quiet country, and niche as well. So uh, we think that they can um, accommodate in uh, just a few days, and then after that, we can uh, start with, uh, uh, with um, just the process of studying. So from first, Year when they have anatomy, histology, uh, like the main subject, then the second year by chemistry, physiology, uh, etc. So they have uh, like their uh, professors who are teaching them like um, more or less personally. Uh, all of them, for example, they have microscopes on uh, histology, they have cadavers on anatomy, they have a lot of uh, laboratory instruments and biochemistry, and they start from very beginning to work in our laboratories. Uh, we would like to implement them to work uh, all together with professors, with, uh, with uh, our assistants, with our professors of faculty of medicine, that uh, they can see that they are uh, like part of the faculty, not just part mm -hmm. like as a student. They are part of the, they can feel that they are like the members of our uh, community there. And uh, we really appreciate that, uh, that uh, our uh, students and uh, we really appreciate when students have a lot of questions for, our, for us. And they really uh, like uh, to start uh, this process of uh, researching things because mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, students of medicine, we, we know this is like all, all of them are very uh, good students, uh, the best, uh, how to say, the best average uh, of, from high school. Uh, they apply for faculty of medicine and they're all interested to do uh, something more, not just, you know, uh, simply learning and studying, studying, studying. And they um, also would like to research a lot of things and we give them opportunity to research. So uh, it's like starting research for, from very beginning. And after that, when they start to search, they can publish this research. We have a couple journals at Faculty of Medicine. This is mm -hmm. the three main journals of Faculty of Medicine. This is international journals and they are very good, um, uh, like ranking. So in of course, in English, and they can publish some articles what they do with the professors, as well as uh, we have once per year uh, student conference, and this is like uh, also international student conference, and um, uh, for all our students, uh, what does it mean? This student conference we have like to not just from faculty of medicine in Niche, University of Niche, we have also from other cities in Serbia, but we invite professor also from foreign countries. And this is very good opportunity to make a very great connections with other professors, with other students from other countries, from uh, other universities in Serbia, other countries, etc. So it's uh, very good uh, for them. And this is uh, what we are re really glad that uh, our students can do it from the very beginning at Faculty of Medicine University of Nish. Also, what we are doing that is practical classes. We um, uh, make one very big point for practical classes. I told. I already told you about the uh, uh, preclinical subjects, but as well as on clinical subjects from the third year to the sixth year, we have University Clinical Center of Niche, where a lot of uh, population, Serbian population from south of Serbia come to take care uh, to, and uh, to find uh, doctors, university professors. And uh, we have a lot of population, so that it means that we have a lot of patients and uh, our students are working with them a lot. So uh, we, uh, on this way, we really um, show them how uh, they can um, make knowledge, not just from the book, but just also from the practical classes. This is uh, the most important things what we are giving to our students. So that's a great thing because uh, ultimately it's all about practice. Medicine, not something that we can keep inside a book and keep on 
seeing that because ultimately you're gonna see patients and you ultimately gonna do the practice and i'm quite amazed like you told about uh the exchange program uh, that uh, your un- university is offering because sp- specifically it's very important a student should have proper cv for pg also because they're gonna be various students who are gonna have diploma but they're not gonna be great doctors uh, later on because they need proper research work they need to show the world that they're working hard and what they have extra to offer so I'm glad they're getting all the opportunities in your university. And uh, also I wanted to ask like, <clears throat> what are the cultural exchange like the, uh, in university, like they have fest or programs or something like that can welcome the students because uh, most of the students in India, they are very close to parents and they are very scared leaving a country more, more like they're in a nest. And when they go alone, the parents are also very scared. They think like he's going alone. Maybe he will find he will stay alone there. He will have a cult like people from the same country or maybe something to make them feel like home. So is there any kind of uh, events or cultural events that's helping them to inculcate the curriculum and have a friendly environment? Yes. OK, we have. Uh a lot of these events uh, for example from the very beginning we uh, met all the students and we introduced themselves to, uh, to each other so mm-hmm. that uh, uh, they can meet each other uh, when they start studying and usually they take uh, for example take uh, together to live in one apartment for example two or three people to live in one apartment then they are um, like studying together they are preparing food together and they work everything together. So we have also some associations uh, on the faculty. It's like medical unity association of everything pediatrics. What we were there, they can uh, enjoy like to working in um, for Serbian society. And during this work, they are, uh, implement their self and uh, in local uh, unity. And uh, this is like uh, very good for them and also the very good for uh, the people who are there. Uh, so, and on this way, uh, we implement them to each other because, that, for example, in this organization that we have at our faculties, uh, faculty, we, uh, they, uh, meet each other, uh, they, um, uh, be like close to other, uh, friends from other countries and also friends from, uh, they found, uh, find a lot of friends, colleagues from Serbia. So they are like all together, they are like, family uh after one two months they are really all the colleagues they are like family we are also there we also help them to be uh to have a good fun uh, to help uh, people uh, for example and uh as well to feel good after this uh helping uh, helping uh, you know the society another question for me is like it's also very important like students uh they don't want to just complete a UG program, the ND pro- MD program, they are also interested in speci- specialization, whether we talk about various subjects in medicine. So what are the op- opportunities after studying uh, from University of Ness? Like what kind of things they can do and uh, like various settlement options, if you could uh, enlighten this topic as well. Okay, uh, if you ask me for specialization after the faculty of medicine and they finish MBBS, uh, so when they finish MBBS, they can choose specialization and they can do specialization in University of Nish, Serbia. Uh, so from this year, we start this program on English. Uh, also till now, uh, so University of Nish Faculty of Medicine, uh, it's like 65 years old and uh, it's old faculty of uh, medicine. Uh, and uh, we really uh, give uh, a lot of different specialization because it's uh, how to, it could be uh, to be finished at our university. And um, so for the foreigners, for the students who would like to uh, take specialization in English, we start from this year and um, we have uh, all different specializations that you can find all over the Europe and all over the world. So uh, they can choose some specialization, they can do specialization in Serbia and after that they can also work in Serbia or maybe they work in, work in some other countries. Uh, the program, for example, MBBS program at University of Niche Faculty of Medicine in Serbia completely recognized in all countries in Europe. Uh, also, it, uh, it is recognized in all around the world, um, but of course, with uh, some process of notification. The usually process of notification for our diploma, it's not so complicated. Uh, for example, in Europe, there is uh, more or less no notification. It's like notification just uh, 
perfect uh, because it should be in for every country but for example for germany they just uh, give the papers and in couple of my the couple of months they just approve the our uh, diploma so it's very easy so, so and uh, for example yeah, yeah basically please. so it's the fsp exam that they need to consider because already they have the anerkennung we say in german it's like the recognition yeah. of the diploma and uh, every university it's like either h plus or h minus so it's great thing if universities because the more easy the process is it's very because everything it comes under the process of documentation even if you study if your document is not accepted then it's a waste of time but we already have everything so it's only the student he needs to perfect his medicine and that's it then he has a lot of gates open he can choose whatever he want so i'm glad you yes, definitely. this information yes. yes definitely because for example okay you're in germany so maybe you know but uh, uh, this is the german government have special agreement with serbia uh, mm -hmm. that all faculties from serbia uh, can uh, when they finish faculty they can go to germany and start working uh, exactly in the second day so mm -hmm. uh, because we have special agreement with germany uh, mm -hmm. government and the german german hospitals really like uh, serbian doctors always accept all of our students all of our fresh doctors uh, to uh, their clinic so it's very nice very great opportunity that's a great thing thanks a lot because mm. these are the questions that not many of uh, like because you already know you're handling so much things so you can only answer these questions not any other person because that's something which is confidential and it lies with some reputed person so thanks a lot for this and uh, these were the basic questions i had because these are the only questions that students are interested in because the other thing they all we are already aware about the cultural thing the events the parties and stuff because students gonna enjoy in life also apart from studying so i'm glad you answered all this uh, and you gave us so much of your time it was your precious time and also i would like to say you have a lot of states to cover in india you still have time and uh, I, I almost forgot to inform uh, our students, we have a great opportunity. Uh, uh, sir would be present in Himachal, Jammu and Delhi. And we are having uh, seminars as well. And if, if any student, they are interested and they have more questions, they can personally visit him and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And uh, Sir will give his precious time to clear all the things. So don't waste this opportunity. You still have the intake available for September. So I will also put all the information on the description, the address, the links and all the stuff so you can connect with us and we can guide you properly how to start and initiate the process and uh, how to be a part of a medical curriculum in University of Ness and brighten your future ahead. So thanks a lot for your hey. time, sir. It was great meeting hey. you. I hope you can come again when we have a lot of questions because uh, the questions, they're ne never going to end. And Indian students, they are curious with everything. Every time they're going to ask and you are already aware yeah. of it. You're handling students so many times. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for a great pod podcast. Thank you for these questions. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm willing to do every time when you have new questions or maybe uh, you, when you uh, have a new students to ask, you can really free um, call me and we can, we can do post podcast again. Uh, I'm here, yes, for uh, some days more. Or So uh, you said about admission. Uh, admission, if they want to take admission, uh, we have admission now at 4th of uh, July, the first admission, admission, so the students can apply, still apply for this first admission. So I suggest to take this admission. The second one is in September, but uh, let's do the first because the entrance exam will be on the first uh, 4th of mm -hmm. July. So exactly. thank you very much one more time. It's my pleasure to be here I mean, in your uh, podcast. And also mm -hmm. it's very, very great pleasure to be here in India. I really enjoy India. It's really beautiful country and I hope that I will come again. Yeah, yeah, we Thank will you very welcome much you again and again.